home for Christmas doing panto, which sort of brings you full circle where you started. It is indeed, yes, indeed. I started in amateur theatre in Derby to begin with, then went to drama school, then came back and appeared in panto at the Derby Playhouse when it was in Sacheverell Street, playing a jumping bean. Very nice. And here you are in Beauty and the Beast. Which one are you playing, Beauty or the Beast? I'm playing the Beast. No, I'm playing the Enchantress. <laughs> It's brilliant, don't isn't it? Ask me, don't ask me what she does because I haven't got a script yet. I just want to be in it. It'll be wonderful. Do you know what's amazing? Every year I see probably four or five with mates of mine in the business up and down the country. I was lucky enough to see the Palladium last year and I see the local ones. And no matter where you go, the entire cast always give 100% because there's no option, is there? You either give it all or nothing. Absolutely. That's one of the reasons I wanted to do it. I, I love that commitment to the job. I, um, I, I really want to, to, to entertain children to the best of my ability. There are so many things rather than theatre that they can see nowadays. And I want the theatre experience to be magical as it was for me when I was a child. It's never been more vibrant, it seems to me, with things like Wicked on the Road. Of course, Beauty and the Beast has just come out on film from the Disney animated yeah. classic, which is great timing for you. I mean, that's perfect, isn't it? It is, actually. And Cinderella, I saw as well, Kip Branagh's Cinderella, which was rather wonderful, too. Yes, I saw Beauty and the Beast a couple of weeks ago. I'm nothing like their Enchantress, <laughs> but there we go. And the Enchantress is the Enchantress, and I'm it. I've got to ask you a really personal question, Gwen, and you might get offended and slam the phone down, but will you be flying in? Because there's, those hoists can really hurt, you know, that they're not very comfortable. Thank you for that comforting thought. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'll be flying out. Oh. I think I'll be doing a Mary Poppins. Oh, uh, it does hurt more when you fly up than fly down, I've got to tell you. On Friday, I'm going to a flying firm to see whether it's possible to fly an old woman <laughs> into the air. And, and, and they'll tell me whether they think it's a good idea for me or not. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm in their hands at the moment. But I'd love to do it. I'll never be asked to do it again, will I? So I think you will. Why shouldn't I? Are you looking forward to things like the 12 days of Christmas, which they normally do, that takes every ounce of energy you've got? Because it's a slog, isn't it, doing two shows a day for weeks on end? I'm kind of a little bit apprehensive about my energy level and whether I'm going to be able to sustain it. I'm going to have to be very kind to myself and not um, tire myself out in other things. It's got to be number one. The panto has got to be number one in my life, you know, in terms of my energies and things. Yeah. I can't I can't be out late at night and I can't, you know, I've, I've got to look after myself. So so um, I think it'll be all right. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've got quite a lot of energy. I wouldn't say I'm the fittest woman in the world, but I have been going to the gym twice a week for a while now to try and get myself, you know, up to standard. And I do like to walk, so... I think I'm I think I'm going to be okay. You're not I mean, there with I'm, those muscle Marys doing the weights, the heavy weights. You're not gonna look like sort of Arnold Schwarzenegger by I'm, Christmas. I will stand and watch them by, <laughs> by all means. They're very nice too. No, I do things I do things like cycling and a bit of rowing and, and treadmill and things like that. The easy things, but at least it gives me it gets my heart pumping and gives me a bit of you know, just a bit of exercise, which is mm. nice. I'll come and see you in Derby Live at the uh, wonderful pantomime Beauty and the Beast, which is going to be yes. extraordinary. It's at the arena. It's at the arena in Derby, so that's rather exciting because I've never played there before. So that's rather interesting. A lovely venue, and they're putting on a huge show as well, which is fantastic. When you see that curtain yes. go up and the sparkle and the campness, it is really what Christmas is all about. It is, isn't it? It is. Just wonderful. Well, I hope you enjoy it when you come. It'd be lovely to meet you. Can't wait to see you. Gwen Taylor, thank you so much for your time. See you at the Derby Arena in Beauty and the Beast this Christmas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. A lovely interview. Thank you. I don't think Panto's ever been taken more seriously, has it? I saw the Palladium show last year. I've been to Derby. They put a ton of money into these shows, and it's amazing the effort that goes in for just a few weeks' run. It's incredible. Absolutely. Well, I mean, it's... Uh, it, Certainly, uh, all the people that are involved in Panto do it because they love it, and it is. It's a fantastic, uh, well, very British, uh, British uh, export that we have. Which look, I don't know how it would go down in uh, if in America or somewhere like that. But you know, culturally, it's very, um, it's highly revered in this country, and that's because at the moment there's so many companies 
do it by like putting together great productions uh, that are very passionate about the concept and, and certainly for theatres as well it's important because you know theatres uh, it, it's hard for them at the moment you know some of them they're under subsidised and uh, it's important that uh, you know pantos are able to come into venues so that they can help support uh, the venue for the rest of the year when they're programming other sorts of uh, sorts of content which might not be as uh, commercial as, as Panther. Ben Fox will be part of the star cast of Beauty and the Beast this Christmas at Derby Live and just tell us about your part are you playing the Beauty or the Beast which one? I wish man I'd, I'd take any but, uh, <laughs> me too <laughs> anything I could tell I'd be Mrs Potts I, I, right <laughs> I will be playing um, Idle Jack so I am son to the dame uh, Betty Brioche and uh, yeah so I'll, I'll be in the kitchen shirking uh, a duty probably but, uh, but yeah so I'll be uh, playing the fool to the day it is a joy isn't it when you stand on that stage and you see those kids laughing it never gets old and the fact the script is probably as old as it was when it was first written a hundred years ago doesn't matter we're waiting for those standard gags we want them and when they come we just love them yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's very true, you know, Panto is an institution and there's certain expectations that, uh, that you have, uh, but what's interesting as well, I mean, it's the first time I've worked with Little, uh, the company here who are producing the Panto, but what's really exciting is that they write all of their shows from scratch, so even though it is a story of Beauty and the Beast, um, every year when they put on a, uh, a Panto, they, they write the script from scratch so there will be some stuff which you know uh, 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 not recycled uh, well basically they'll use format points but uh, classic gems let's call them that yeah 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 and all those format (laughs) points of slosh scenes or uh, the the ghost uh, the ghost scene all of those things they will be in there but but they uh, they write from scratch which is it's a bold move it's a lot of hard work as well I'm amazed I mean I know some of them go on for weeks on end it's two shows a day six days a week plus rehearsals are you match ready? <laughs> well, I've still got some time thankfully um, <laughs> I don't know when this is going to be going out but, uh, but yeah we've still got a bit of time before uh, before we start so yeah I will be eating well I'm going to have my flu jabs get immunised uh, <laughs> plenty of vitamins uh, Barocca every day and, uh, and don't and, yeah, shake the hands of the punters because you'll get a cold Yes, indeed. Well, you know, we've got to take care of each other. But, uh, but I've got to say, it's, it's lovely because it's, it's a real, like you say, it's a heavy schedule. But once you get into the groove, it's, it's fantastic. And you know, you know, whether it's four weeks, six weeks, there's always a finite yeah. amount of shows. And so you, you get to the end of it. But it's a lovely, <clears throat> it's a lovely process. So over, and again, a very fortunate one where you get to wake up in the morning, have your breakfast, go and knock out a couple of shows and then get to bed and do that rinse and repeat. It's, yeah. it's a lot of fun. Beautiful. Thank you so much for your time. You're much love. I'm sure the stage door is also a thrill when those kids look at you with that just undying respect and love which they do. Ben Folks is one of the big stars of Beauty and the Beast coming to Derby this Christmas. I look forward to seeing you. Thanks for your time, Ben. Thank you, man. Thank you.